Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again. Welcome back to my channel. So in one of my previous video, I introduced the new car launcher briefly, and then I got a lot of messages saying how exactly I can build around this weapon because it's so powerful. So here I'm gonna share with you what is my launcher guys built. So first thing first, this is my special attribute. The most important one is the luck, because my build is a blooded vat build. It's heavily built it around the vats and trying to get critical per other shots to maximize the damage. Then here is my perk loadout. Under strength, the most important perk is Ordnance Express. It reduces 90% of your armor weight for explosive weapons and is 100% essential because without this perk, you will not be able to move around with hundreds of 40mm grenades in your back sack. And all the other perk cards just depends on what kind of playstyle you do. And I am a holder, so I keep on putting stuff in my back sack. That's why I see a lot of weight reduction perks in this loadout. And the good thing about this build is you don't need hundreds of important perks, you only need a handful of them. Besides the Ordnance Express, you will need to counter the fire because this is a vast build. You can use Grenadier as you want. Bear in mind, this card will get you killed instantly. A lot of times you are doing close counter combat. I strongly suggest you to remove this one if you're doing daily ops. Under Endurance, there's only one good to have card the Fireproof, which can minimize explosive damage to yourself. It might save your life in certain circumstances, but it's again only a good to have card. Under Charisma, we have two strongly recommended cards, Strange in Numbers, to maximize your positive mutation effect, as well as Tenderizer. It's particularly good if you're fighting bosses, which you cannot take down with one single shot. Then Tenderizer gives you 10% multiplicative damage for 10 seconds after your attack. And the Intelligence Nerve Ridge is a must-have card if you want to maximize your damage output. But if you are not blooded built, then this perk is irrelevant again. And Demolition Experts is the most, most important perk card you want to have with your launcher because it provides you 60% additive damage. And considering the base damage of the launchers, are super high already, the 60% additional damage will give you a big boost. It's basically how you can make your grenade launcher overpowered in this game. Gunsmith, again, this is a good to have card because grenade launcher tend to break very quickly because you have high chances to hit multiple mobs per shot, which actually reduce the condition of your grenade launcher significantly. Under agility, adrenaline is a very very strong suggested perk card to maximize your output. It can give you again another 60% additional additive damage if you are keep on killing the trash mobs. And luck is one of the most important special attributes. Critical survey makes the critical per other shot a reality if you have over 33 points of luck. Better criticals give you 100% additive damage. And considering the weapon itself is so powerful already and 100% vast critical damage is a huge boost to your DPS. And blooded mass give you another 10%. It could go up to 15% if you have a 3 star, but I ran out of points here. This 10% additional additive damage will give a bit of boost for your DPS as well, but it's just a good to have card. You can live without this card without problem. <clears throat> so that's all my perk load. In my legendary perk load, you'll see I have a lot of special related legendary perk cards. The non-special related one is a very, very important one, which is the taking one for the team. It gives you up to 40% multiplicative damage if you're on a team and if the enemy is attacking you. It's not only good for this build, it's good basically for all DPS build. Now that's my perk loadout. In terms of weapon, apparently the new car launcher. I do have a few auto melee weapons for close counter combat. Now let's go to find something to test how good this build is. Now our first test object again is a grainy mutant. And once adrenaline kicks in, you one shot all of them. And the good thing about the grenade launcher is you can use it as a sniper in VATS because they are super accurate. 
You see, it doesn't matter how long away the mobs are, you can just kill them with the snapping cannon. And there's no much of difference comparing with the new car launcher with the normal two-shot version when you're trying to fight the normal trash mobs because they can always one-shot kill them. It doesn't matter whether it's critical or not, but the fast fire rate will become critical when you fight something much tougher. Let's go to pay a visit to the Merlot Queen. Now when you use the two-shot grenade launcher or other launch weapons, the damage number you'll see, you need to actually double it by two because that's the real damage number. Ah, oh, there it is. Let's do it. It's dead. Just that simple. He got no chance to attack us at all. That's how powerful this weapon is. Now let's find some Scorch Beast to try it. Now a two-star legendary Scorch Beast. We need to run away from him. It's dead. Just as simple as that, it doesn't even have a chance to regain his health. Theoretically, a two-star legendary beast will have the chance to refill his health twice. But with this weapon with the fast firing speed, the legendary mobs will have no chance to regain their health. Apparently, the end world bosses like the Scorch Beast Queen and Mr. Eel, the gigantic Ultracide Titan, they will have the chance have the opportunity to regain their health. Beside them, nothing else have the chance to stand against this beast weapon. All right, that's everything for today's video. And I hope you like it and hope it gives you some ideas how to actually build your character around the grenade launcher. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But until next time, Philigans out.